A couple of years ago, it would be unheard of to see any women in the military, let alone the existence of a female-only army. Over the recent years, women have broken military gender barriers by getting into this male-dominated job and proven to be just as good. They are the ultimate acknowledgement that what a man can do, a woman can do better, and that the battlefield is not an exception. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Forever Green. In this episode, we are going to showcase the most elite female special forces. And you should stick around for number one, as these badass women have formed military forces that you wouldn't want to mess with. They are truly giving their male counterparts a run for their money. Number 13, Norwegian Special Female Forces. The military troop is also known as the Jägertruppen in Norway. This world's first all-female Norwegian Special Forces, better known as Hunter Troop, was set up in 2014. The program started as an experimental initiative, but in turn, has proven some sort of success. In the first year cohort, 300 female applied with a few dozen of elite and highly trained women soldiers passing the grueling training. Just like any other military training, the Jürgertropen undergo a thorough but tough training including offensive driving, combat fighting, survival training, marching while in possession of heavy gear, and jumping out planes to get behind enemy lines. What makes the training outrageous is the fact that to pass the training, you must complete a couple of tough exercises during the course. You must be able to complete a 15 kilometer, 9 miles speed march, all while in full gear that is a 22 kilogram backpack, weapon, boots, name it. The march involves going through forests and it must be completed within 2 hours and 15 minutes. One must also finish a 400 meter swim within 11 minutes and ensure that the first 25 meters is underwater swimming. 40 push-ups, 50 sit-ups in 2 minutes, and a 3 km run within a maximum of 13 minutes. Upon completion, the Norwegian Jägertruppen are deployed to operations in Syria and Jordan. The troops carry out missions that require quick reaction, daring, courage, ability to work diligently, covert implementation, thorough planning, and precision. Examples of operations carried out include Afghanistan 2002 and Kabul police training in 2008-2009. This elite troop was formed after the army found a challenge in intelligence gathering since the Afghanistan male forces were prohibited from having any form of communication with women. Their deployment to Afghanistan prompted the Special Command of Norway's armed forces to see the need for female special operations soldiers. Do you think you can pass the training requirements? Let us know in the comments section below. Number 12. Libyan Revolutionary Nuns the Libyan revolutionary nuns are no longer in service because they were disbanded, but they made one of the greatest women defense units. This elite troop made one of the best bodyguards that were assigned to Muammar Gaddafi's personal security unit. They were trained on how to properly handle firearms, hand-to-hand -hand combat, communication, rocket launching, and also did martial arts. They were armed to the nail. Their three-year training program took place at the Tripoli Women's Academy, which had been officially opened by Gaddafi back in 1979. He said that his decision was as a result of the inspiration that he drew from his mother. Gaddafi saw his mother as a symbol of strength, since she had been a top archer in her Bedouin tribe. He promised his mother to make the lives of the women in Libya better, and that is why he made this female-only army. What made it even more interesting was that the women were required to be virgins. Yes, they were not allowed to take part in any sexual activities or even get married. Upon passing their tests, the revolutionary nuns were expected a lifetime commitment to protect Gaddafi until when they died. Their dedication to their job was unbowed. They protected with their own lives. In 1998, during an attack by Libyan rebels, one woman named Asia was killed after she pounced on Gaddafi, who was the center of the attack. She used her body to shield the leader. Two other women were injured, but Gaddafi escaped without a scratch. Number 11. Russia's Female Spetsnaz Russia is known to train some of the most elite and tactical military paratroops in the world. The Spetsnaz trained female militia personnel who are placed into co-ed units and as beacons, which basically makes them the leaders in assaulting troops during invasion. The training is said to be rigorous, so as to incorporate aggressive combat skills needed in the battlefield. 
They are known for conducting counterterrorism, ambushing and destroying enemy convoys during insurgency. Missions carried out include Soviet war in Afghanistan, Beirut hostage crisis, Kislar Pervomoskoy hostage crisis, Beslan school siege, Syrian civil war, insurgency in the Caucasus, and in Chechnya Peninsula on February 2014. Due to their expertise, the Spetsnaz units are usually posted in other Soviet countries such as Ukraine, Belarus, and Kazakhstan. Some men say they can't dare date or marry such a tough lady when she's really one brave soul. What's your take on that? Leave a like and let us know in the comments section below. Number 10. South Africa Special Forces The squad is commonly referred to as the Risse. The forces are highly intelligent and specialize in special operations and counterinsurgency, such as long-range combat reconnaissance and unconventional airborne operations. The forces training is so tough that only 8% of recruits pass the course. Some of the requirements to meet include psychological and physical tests. The psychological tests include given tests and oral interviews, whereby a soldier must be composed and mature. Cases of mental instability lead to the soldier being ejected from the course. The physical tests involved include 50 continuous push-ups without breaking rhythm, 5-kilometer run within 24 minutes, 46-meter shuttle runs in 95 seconds, 67 sit-ups in 2 minutes, a rope climb and 175 meter fireman's lift run within 65 seconds. Additionally, some of the personal physical attributes considered include a recruit must scale a 10 foot high, 3 meter wall, 120 shuttle kicks and a 15 kilometer march in less than 2 hours. During the period, recruits do not sleep or eat and have no rest at all. Very few or even none pass the course level. It's absolutely insane. Upon completion, Skills gained by the recruits include air cooperation, water orientation, and obstacle crossing tracking, survival, bushcraft, and demolition in urban as well as rural localities. Various military categories gain different skills. Airborne force gains skills on descending from helicopter on rope, setting up landing zone, and combat extraction. Qualified special forces are recognized through special badges that are numbered with an inverted commando knife. Some of the known successful operations include fight against the Salika rebels in the Central African Republic and stabilization mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Before we move on to our next special unit, I have a short challenge for you. Leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you will win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it, it works. Number 9. Israel Defense Forces the Israel Female Defense Force is considered to be the most powerful women's special force in the world. In Israel, women have been serving in the combat since the founding of the state in 1948. Women, who are not fighters, are exempted in combat positions. Mandatory law requires female combats to serve for two years and four months. In 2009, they were given the go-ahead to take part in anti-aircraft forces and rescue forces. These women have really outdone themselves as their artillery units have been hailed for exemplary skills in shooting abilities and discipline. They are also said to be highly motivated. The Caracol Battalion within the Defense Forces entails up to 70% female soldiers. The female troops are deployed to various support units and battlefield. The women in Israel's Defense Force are the epitome of fearless women across the globe. Number 8. German Special Forces Female troops were integrated into the German military back in 2001. The military unit is commonly recognized as Commando Spiesekraft. The combat troops exhibit special operations and command within the Army and Naval Forces. To be a fully operational commando, the training from boot camp takes about six years. The first week of training, recruits are tested on tolerance by being exposed to physical fitness exercises and sports, such as shuttle run for 36 meters. 500 meter swim within less than 15 minutes, a jump from 12 meter tower, and 12 minutes running. To be a tough unit, some of personal training they are engaged includes parachuting onto ground and into water, battle drills in varying conditions, repelling, conducting close quarter battle, grappling, disarming, insertion and extraction techniques, high risk roped and unroped insertions, climbing cliffs and ladders. Additionally, when training soldiers are supposed to train while wearing heavy rucksack and body armor. Upon passing of the various tests, a soldier may specialize in breach training, weapons handling, medical training, 
Explosives training. Counterterrorism training. Hand-to-hand -hand combat training. Repelling from choppers. Battle training. Amphibious training. Jungle training. Mountain training. And telecommunications training. The minimum number of years one is assigned to is six years of service. To showcase their expertise in battlefield, the German elite team has been deployed to various operations, such as peacekeeping mission deployment in Africa states, including Somalia, Mali, Niger, and Cameroon. Number 7. Australian Defense Forces Women were allowed to serve within the forces on 27 September 2011. This initiated the ability of women to be in the front line. They were, however, required to meet all physical requirement. Women are engaged in secret counterterrorism tactics to aid during hostage rescues and directorate functions. The Special Force Unit commands operations within Royal Australian Navy and Royal Australian Air Force. Within the elite combat, commandos have been deployed to mission so as to counter terrorism in Australian cities, in Iraq Operation Okra, and in Afghanistan in support of secret intelligence service. The military runs under tailored ranks of regiment. During battle confrontation, soldiers carry out airstrikes to disrupt and destroy enemy installations. Patrols within the jungle, water and desert land, and mountain terrain are among the tasks that are initiated on daily basis. The military troops also engage in sabotage raids on targets like headquarters, airfields, and communication nodes. The Australian female troops are tactically specialized in supporting counterterrorism operations and hostage rescue missions. Do you think it's a good move to have women as frontline fighters? Let us know in the comment section. Number 6. New Zealand Defense Force The armed forces are headed by Chief of Defense Force. The New Zealand Defense Force is said to have one of the highest percentage of female in the Army, and this percentage has not changed in years. The troops under the New Zealand Army are responsible and active participants in multilateral peacekeeping. Within their field of mission expertise, the forces play a key role in peacekeeping in United Nations and states like Somalian Islands, Angola, Lebanon, Somalia, Cambodia, East Timor, and island of Bougainville. Other missions engaged in include Interfet, Untait, Umamet, in multilateral inception force in the Persian Gulf. Additionally, the forces has been deployed in European Union operations and NATO-led coalitions, which include at the former Yugoslavia and in Afghanistan. The New Zealand female troops have also been deployed across the globe for training personnel and joint exercise. These women have surely done it all. Number 5. Canadian Special Operations Forces the combat troop is responsible for handling and responding to terrorism and threats within Canada territories and abroad when required. The female soldiers under the various units are highly trained and equipped in readiness to conduct operational tasks, such as sensitive site exploitation, direct action, defense, diplomacy, hostage rescue, military assistance, special protection operations, maritime special operations, combating weapons of mass destruction, and support to non-combatant evacuation operations. These privileges is as a result of the 1989 legislation that allowed them to take part in all combat roles, and that of 2000 that gave them the go-ahead to take part in submarine warfare, a privilege that many women across the globe have not been able to experience. Number 4. Kurdish Women's Defense Units Kurdish Women's Defense Unit is a female militia that was founded in 2012. It was formed in the wake of Kurdish resistance to Al-Nusra Front and ISIS. They were proudly the frontline fighters. These women are fierce and fearless in the face of danger. As a result, they have successfully fought many battles. The men they fight are said to suffer from psychological effects because they believe that if they kill a woman, they will not go to heaven. They are therefore left with no choice but to revert and suffer the consequences. This makes it a big win for the Kurdish Women Defense Force because they have nothing holding them back. Number 3. Swedish Women's Voluntary Service It is an arm of Sweden's National Defense Force and is commonly referred to as Loda Corps. Upon signing contracts with the military authorities, these female soldiers are usually alert and ready in case of any foreign invasion. Their training starts by familiarizing and perfecting the basic military strategies and tactics. They are, however, not involved in frontline combat, but are used for combat service support. It was founded in 1924, making it the oldest and largest defense organizations. 
The Swedish Women's Voluntary Service is non-political, and as the name suggests, they rely on voluntary contributions, such as the finances that the government give them annually. Even better, the women get to choose their own tasks. How cool! Number 2. Russian Female Airborne Battalion These women undergo tough training at the Russian Airborne Academy, after which they are tasked with the great role of being in charge of paratroopers. From amateurs straight to bosses, one of their major roles is airborne insertion. They are trained to perfect their navigation in the battlefield as a unit and to also shoot their enemies center mass. While many paratroopers travel light and ambush their enemies with the little they have, the Russian Airborne Battalion is heavily armed and more than ready. These female soldiers are praised for their unimaginable fighting capacity, courage, and stamina. They don't believe that anything is impossible. They drive tanks like the pros they are, and when they shoot, they shoot to kill. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about these female soldiers who seem to be in a military parade. Who isn't fascinated by how our military ladies do their parades in such a choreographed manner? If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over and we may even feature it in our future video. Now, we looked into this picture and are excited to reveal to you that indeed there exists such an elite group of female soldiers who are well conversant with both unconventional and conventional warfare. Trust me, you wouldn't want to meet their wrath. Before we look at number one, we have a little challenge for you. Go ahead and like this video and comment down below. We want to see if you can balance the number of likes against the number of comments. And go. Perfectly balanced is all things should be. Be sure to check out other amazing videos on our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed this video so far. Tell us in comments which one of these you like the most and why. Chinese Special Forces The all-female Special Forces based in Hong Kong and was founded in March 2013 in Beijing. The unit is endowed with 50 elite and highly trained combats. The All-Female Fighting Force Squad is a group within the People's Liberation Army Operations Special Forces and the only one of its kind in China. As a routine, the training begins with a 5km run each and every morning at quarter to 6am. The run must be completed in less than 24 minutes. On average, the weight of the female uniforms range between 10kg to 15kg, with stuffs like firearms, bullets, water bottle, medicines, a signal flare, ropes, grenades, maps, oil, and cleaning equipment for firearms. Every soldier is supposed to march while in possession of the 15 kilogram ensemble gear. The daily march is usually 30 to 40 kilometer. Within a few months in training, the recruits are supposed to run a 3 kilometer distance in less than 17 minutes. Harsh training comes with lots of pain, fractures, and injury, but to achieve the aggressiveness needed in the battlefield, one must endure and keep the fire burning. Essential combat skills specialized during the training include repelling, use of parachutes, scuba diving, and the use of firearms, such as rifles, pistols, and submachine guns. The all-female special forces usually undertake swimming sessions for several weeks in the sea, where every soldier must complete a 3-kilometer session in water. To make it worse, the soldiers are exposed to harsh climatic conditions such as being exposed to mountainous regions with temperature ranging negative 10 degrees Celsius. The unit carried out missions like accompanying and escorting warships against Somali pirates. And that's it for the 15 most elite special forces. Which among the highlighted female special forces would you like to see in action? Which one do you think is the toughest? Let us know in the comments section below.